Does racism exist? Racism does exist, but not in the forms that groups like Black Lives Matter and and liberal groups would want us to believe. I think racism exists in the form of the rich race versus the poor race, and it has nothing to do with color. It has everything to do with our richest people in the world only thinking for themselves and not what's best for the collective of humanity. Black Lives Matter, what's your impression of them? Lesbian. And at this point, no one takes Black Lives Matter serious. There were people who were defending Black Lives Matter when I was going at them. They're not even defending them no more. And I've been debating people from different communities, a lot of people from the pro-Black community. And I think Black Lives Matter lost a lot of momentum and credibility ever since the uh, situation with the money and all of that. And even before that, you just can't take... It's, it's not really a movement of black revolutionaries again like you said it's a movie of a, a movement of rainbow revolutionaries and any person that's really standing for the plight of black people and think that there's some kind of uh benefit to us supporting black lives matter at all they're just not i want to say they're not woke all right they're, they're not aware of what's going on here Black Lives Matter isn't owned by black people, by the way. So why would it have the agenda in mind of black people? That's amazing. So everything that it stands for, yeah, everything that it, and the black people that's the puppets in the face of it are just milking it. They're cash cows and only in it for their own interest. The only person benefiting off Black Lives Matter is a handful of crooks, not black people. <laughs> amazing. There are a lot of black, not a lot, but there are black people calling themselves the original Jews, black Jews. What do you think of that? Like the Hebrew Israelite, I think, and some other folks out there. What do you think of all that? I think these people should do stand-up comedy. <laughs> and I, th I think that when we say we're the original Hebrew, first of all, everywhere we see Judaism being practiced, it's being taught by white people. And yes, we're going to put the skin tone in it. Blacks, this is not part of our culture. Everyone know we are tribal people from the jungle, no shoes on, and they uh, uh, skirts, uh, leaf skirts on, <laughs> and with the bones and the noses, and this is where we come from. So we need to embrace that. We look at move it, you know, that that is what our people come from. We we are people from the jungle. We say that we are tribal people. When the pilgrims came to this land, they had shoes on, hats on, a lot of clothes on, and we wanted to dress up. We looked at our feet and we said, hey, maybe it would be a good idea, you know, to put shoes on. We wanted to copy off the pilgrims culture because in <laughs> our mind it made sense to us we had bow and arrows he had a rifle and if you can't beat them you can learn from them right yeah so the yeah. pilgrim came over here he, yeah. yeah he had a, a brew pot he's on the oatmeal box for a reason because he taught us with his witch pot his brew pot he was brewing up the oatmeal that wasn't magic elixirs <laughs> right he was brewing up a bunch of stuff and grits and all of this stuff. The pilgrim was building roads and all of that. And, and what happened was a lot of the children from the jungle, when they saw the pilgrim children dressed up in, you know, heels, shoes, forging metals, technological, we left the jungle. Our children, you know, up on the chief such and such, chief Big Hawk, whatever, the chiefs couldn't keep the children from assimilating it to the pilgrims culture because the, in my opinion, we, the children of the tribes thought that this life was better and slowly, but surely all of our people left the jungle and assimilated into the colonies. And now when you go to the jungle, you can see our ruins and temples that we left, but we cannot act like we were always pilgrims. This was taught to us. And uh, it's okay if you admire 
Jewish culture, uh, pilgrim culture, Hebrew culture, and you want to assimilate in it and practice it, then just say that. But to claim it as yours is something that black people do too often. We want to be the first Hebrews. We want to be the first Moors. We want to be the first everything. <laughs> and I just don't think that's realistic. I think it's childish. Amazing. You, uh, so now I understand. I grew up on in Alabama on a plantation, and I used to hate wearing shoes. And when I, even outdoors, I, I would go without wearing my shoes. And I remember going up to Indiana once to, to stay for a minute. And I was walking up and down the street with no shoes on because I hated wearing shoes. Uh, and so my uncle caught me wearing with no shoes. And he's like, boy, get your A back in that house and put on some shoes. I bet I never see you walking in the street with no shoes. Now I understand where that came from. <laughs> I didn't know it was from the jungle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's from our jungle ancestors. Oh, you know, man. and that's why we like to get, yeah. And, and so, you know, we if you look at our people today, we wear less clothes today. If our women wear less clothes, the men like to wear, you know. Le so that's <laughs> part of our jungle culture, too. So, you know, I just think it's, 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 it's kind of crazy to claim that we're the original Hebrews uh, yeah. when everything about Ju Judaic customs, traditions has been taught to us by white rabbis. I even put up a picture. Now, in the, in the documentary Hebrews to Negro, the claim is that the black Jews originate in Africa. Now, Jesse, when you go and see what's happening in Africa, there are white rabbis and white missionaries over there teaching them guys how to wear a teflon, how to tie a tie. What are the Jewish customs and traditions? If we are the original Jews, we should be teaching them, right? Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. Amazing. Let me ask, because of time here, does racism exist? Racism does exist, but not in the forms that groups like Black Lives Matter and, and liberal groups would want us to believe. I think racism exists in a form of the rich race versus the poor race, and it has nothing to do with color. It has everything to do with our richest people in the world only thinking for themselves and not what's best for the collective of humanity most of the time. Amazing. That's the racism. Do you love white people? Oh, yeah, I love white people, all color people. And how about white people? Yes, I love white people. <laughs> what is uh, love them to death? <laughs> Amazing. Are you a leader? Do you see yourself as a leader? Others see me as a leader. I just see myself as some dude on YouTube with a mic talking a lot of crap and provoking people, <laughs> I getting know them mad. Mean. Amazing. <laughs> 